Hi, my name is Juliana Goddard, better known as Yes Jules. July of 2021, I had just finished a very long weekend of hosting the number one festival in the world, Rolling Loud, here in Miami. And usually I'm pretty tired after a weekend like that. That Monday I woke up and it was just like a different kind of exhaustion. I'm explaining to Duke like, man, I really don't feel good. Are you pregnant? I'm like, let me order some pregnancy tests. And so I did, it was positive. Wow, I'm really pregnant, this is actually happening. He called me and he's like, you're pregnant, aren't you? And he sounded so excited. And I was like, why are you excited? I'm not ready for this. Like, this is gonna be a lot. He's like, calm down, don't worry. We'll figure everything out together. This is a blessing. In that moment, we started our, our journey. I spoke to my girlfriend, Star, and she said, oh, you need to go to Jackson Memorial. There's this amazing doctor there. She just delivered my friend's baby and she had a great experience. So I set up my appointment, went, found out. I was a couple weeks in. So apparently, River went to her first festival, very young. At about, it was like 13 or 14 weeks that I went in for my checkup and they described to me that there was a possibility that there may be some complications, but that they were gonna wait to tell me until they could confirm. The next time that we went in to do the ultrasound, that was when one of the doctors confirmed that it seemed that we had gastroschisis. The first thing the doctor said was, if you're gonna go home and Google, my recommendation is not to. Basically, She's gonna be born with uh, one of her major organs outside of her body. And once she's born, you're gonna say hello to her and they're gonna whisk her off to the NICU right away. They're gonna have this organ in a silo and our team of experts is gonna immediately begin working on her to put the organ back in her without uh, extremely invasive surgery. It was actually incredible. It was an incredible process. The doctors were so amazing. The level of communication was amazing, I knew what was happening every step of the way. Felt very comfortable and, and trusted the team to know that they were gonna get the job done. And within a few days, the organs were back inside and then it was just, Little River had to adjust. I'll never forget my first day holding her. It was uh, one of the best days of my life. I'm a first time mother, I'm adopted. My mom's never birthed uh, a child herself. So not really having like that experience or that wisdom in that space, it was kind of um, a blessing in disguise to have the nurses and the doctors hold my hand through that for those first uh, four or five weeks of uh, River being in the NICU. Now that she's nice and healthy, this girl is doing it all. She loves music, yeah. We played music, I sang to her every night in the yeah. NICU. I made a little song for her. She's actually working on her first hey. album right now. <laughs> We're making a, uh, a lullaby album. Yay! My hope for her is that she stays as independent and headstrong as she seems to be right now. I hope that she never lets anyone deter her from chasing her dreams, not even me. As far as hospitals go, um, Jackson and the team over at Holtz are just incredible. I mean, it's uh, beyond impressive and I, I couldn't be more grateful for the amount of care and time that they put into my little angel. She says, thank you guys, thank you so much. Okay, okay. She said she's ready to dance.